All right, guys, so we are here today to do some theoretical team building for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock that's going to be coming out in another month or two. So I'm really happy about this team. I am a big Bardock fan, as I said in my last video that I did about this, and I can't wait to do this because Super Saiyan 3 team, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, primarily just because, well, first off, Super Saiyan 3, a lot of them hit very hard. Uh, there are a lot of different Dokken Fest exclusives that are actually Super Saiyan 3s, which is awesome. Makes it very easy to build a team around a super fierce battle. The other thing is going to be their Link skill set of Over in a Flash, which is phenomenal. Plus, they're all Super Saiyan, so you have a really good, solid linking team that is going to have a really decent leader. The thing is, we don't know how this card's going to be and how he's going to fit into a Super Saiyan 3 team. I'm assuming he's going to fit in with, into the basic meta of the team without a problem. We're going to have to wait and see. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, shout out to dbz.space. I'm over here right now. As you see, jpn.dbz.space. Go over to the card section. There is a new beta that allows you to type in um, whatever you want, and it'll bring up what you're looking for. So because it's on the JP side, not everything's translated to English. Instead of typing Super Saiyan 3, I just typed in 3, and everything that I wanted to came up over here. So this is every single Super Saiyan 3 that's in the game. You also have Android 13. And I don't know why he's here. This doesn't make any sense to me, but Sorbet is here regardless. <laughs> but uh, just to make an appearance, I guess. These are all the cool Super Saiyan 3s that are here. And we are going to be talking not specifically in depth on each of them, but we're going to talk about the teams that you could possibly build when it comes to it. So let's just take a look over here. These are all the Super Saiyan 3s. All the duplicates of like their forms are right next to each other. Like the Broly's are over here, physical and technique types. I only brought out the one variant of each one. So, like, if there's an SSR and a TUR, I only brought out the TUR variant. Uh, so that's most of them, except for, like, two of them, which is the Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku and a Vegeta. So, we have these two over here and the Technique Vegeta. Um, or the, the, sorry, the Strength Vegeta. Anyway, these are all Super Saiyan 3s. As you see, they are zigzag all across there. It's a spider web. There's a plethora of link skills shared between them. It is, it's fantastic. <laughs> I love this. I can't wait. So um, let me go ahead and actually zoom in for you guys. So that way you can actually see a little bit more, make this a little bit clearer for you. Uh, there we go. So that's going to be good. Uh, so this is everything that's available for us. Let's go over and take a look. Once you narrow it down to removing all the duplicates, this is every single card that you have available to you. Now, um, that's awesome. I like all these cards. Most of these have Super Fierce Battle, except for like the exception of this Vegeta over here. Uh, this Gotenks, actually, I believe he has it. He does have it. Um, this Vegeta has it, Gotenks, and this Goku. So it's really just those two cards that do not have Super Fierce Battle. And that's, you know, it's actually kind of funny, too. Because these two Vegetas, while they do link together, and this one doesn't have Super Fierce Battle, this one has the same exact damage output modifier, which is 70%, uh, at least on his passive skill, as this one. But this one has a defensive buff, which makes him a little more viable, in my opinion. <laughs> it's just you know, a little fun fact there. You can tell because they're, they're, that, that version, this Vegeta right here, is a lot older. But anyway, when we go into viability, the only thing that really gets removed is going to be this Goku over here. I just did that just because, you know, you can. I can I'm going to go ahead and close out of this tab just so that way the memory doesn't kill me. Uh, but yeah, that's that. And these are essentially all the viable ones except for this unit over here. So you can choose whoever you want, and you're going to have a pretty damn good team. You know, at least if you're going based off of the best units of the duplicates, at least in my opinion, from what we sh what I showed you over here. Um, we're moving over now. We're going to talk about the cards that all share over in a flash. All of these cards share over in a flash. I also broke out the duplicates of these cards again, uh, just so that way I can make a point. All of them share over in a flash, which is cool. I like that. Over in a flash is a team that I would possibly build my Super Saiyan 3 Bardock team around. Now, with that being said, let's remove all the duplicates and go for the uh, the primary units that we would want. So when we do that, we are left with this. Now, we have the OG Goku. Now, he typically, I would go with the Strength variant because he doesn't have Restrictive Passive, but if you are doing the Extreme Z Awaken, he is going to come into play. He is going to be your primary one of the two that you're going to want to run. Um, outside of that, we obviously have the Physical Gotenks, we have the Tanker Old School STR Vegeta. He is still viable because of that passive. You are awesome. Um, this Goku has it. Uh, he's there just because he does link and he can be run on the team. It doesn't impact this Goku because he has Golden Great Ape in his title. And we have the JP exclusive Super Saiyan Gotenks Adult. 
uh, that card right there. Uh, who knows if it's ever going to come to the global side. It has been translated, which means we could possibly get him, but we don't know yet. Uh, but at least on the JP side, he's definitely going to be someone you can consider running. Super Saiyan 3, Angel Goku, and Gotenks. So we have a very solid, very solid lineup that we can possibly run. Um, now, in, top, in terms of team building with them, uh, this is who I would probably recommend, or I'm sorry, this is probably who I would recommend running. Um, we would have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, well, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and his buddy, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Uh, this guy is going to be brought out. He actually, he's not going to even be considered to be running on the team. He's just going to have over in a flash. The other one is going to be Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, right? Um, at that point, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, as much, as much, as much as I would love to run this Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks with him, he's going to have to be put off to the side because you're probably going to want to run the Intelligence Bardock with someone. We don't know who it's going to be, but these two are probably going to be link, uh, linking buddies. So they share five, I believe, out of six link skills that they have. Let's go back over here to this and take a look and see if you will you guys actually perfect that's perfect you guys can see exactly what it is so he has one two three four five six so he has six link skills and i think the only one that he doesn't share is well i don't know but it doesn't really matter at this point <laughs> they both they share five out of six link skills which is phenomenal um outside of that we're gonna then you get to figure out what the link skills are of the intelligence product before we could actually make the you know exact teams that we're going to probably want to build with those two will most likely be together uh, we have a lot of different cards that we could possibly think of to run on the side um, i still am going to say that this is going to be a viable card to run because he does a 33 percent attack boost to all allies he is a super saiyan 3 so he's going to get those buffs uh, if you're like me you probably fed some orbs into his dupe system so that way he can increase his attack get some crits off um, because he does link with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he does share all the basic links with all these guys, he does have Super Fierce Battle, um, so he's definitely going to be a, a staple in this team in my opinion. He, it, he does turn into a Great Ape, which kind of stinks, I don't like the fact that he turns into a Great Ape, because it can hurt the team in terms of the way that they're set up, but there are ways around that if you pay attention. Um, but yeah, uh, this Vegeta will also probably come into play at some points, depending on the, what you're going up against, like if you're... Well, it depends on the, what you're going up against, because if you need to tank damage, you're going to want him on your team. But as I have it set right here, we're going to have Gotenks. Well, these two link together, the two Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, the Angel and the Non-Angel. Gotenks, you're going to have the Intelligence Bardock. You're going to have this Goku over here. Then you're going to have another Bardock on rotation, which we're going to use this, because he's never going to come into play. So it leaves you room for one more card that you can possibly use. Now, you can go back over here and take a look at all the different units that you can run with over in a flash. Um, honestly, well, actually, I think all these do too. Honestly, it's really going to come down between these two who you're going to want to run. Now, you can technically run this Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, so that way when he does come up on turn, it will benefit this Gotenks, but it's only really going to give a major benefit to this Gotenks because of their link skills. I think it's just Desired Star. I forgot what that actually link uh, go, end up, ends up going to in terms of name, and they believe they also share Fused Fighter. So that's two link skills for Key, which it's not really needed. They also have over in a flash. So between the two of them, they're going to be giving, what, five Key? That means this guy's probably going to be in the middle, so he's already getting over in a flash. For, if if the Super Saiyan uh, 3 Bardock has over in a flash, that is. He's gonna. He's not going to need the key. Let me put it like that. That's all there is to it. He's probably not going to need the key. Uh, most of these guys are probably also going to have uh, appearance beyond the limit, which is the Super Saiyan 3 link specifically. Um, so that's something else to take into consideration. I believe all of them actually have that. Um, so honestly, it, it's really going to be up to you between them. But you could you could run this Vegeta, which would probably be a, a good idea to run him for tanking purposes or this Go Tanks. But again, that's going to be up to you. We still need to see what the link skill sets are like. But that's probably what your team is going to consist of. Now let's move over here. This is going to be for damage output. As you can see over here, everything is the same. I, I tried to base it off of damage output. I did take into consider the two Vegetas that are there. Neither of them have immense damage. Um, so this is probably going to be who you're going to run. Uh, you can swap out Super Saiyan 3 Broly if you have him because he is a technically, he's technically a nuker because of his passive ability. Um, he doesn't have over on a flash. But he does have Fierce Battle, which is cool, and he is a Super Saiyan 3, so he does have some nice link skills. Uh, yeah, Appearance Beyond the Limit, which is the Super Saiyan 3 link. Super excited for that for plus 15 Super Saiyan. So he has the three basic link skills that all the Super Saiyan 3s are going to have. Uh, but again, between the terms of damage output, you're really, it's the same team as over in a flash. I mean, going back over here uh, to the viable units, 70%, but Supreme Damage, 70% Supreme Damage, 100%. Um, supreme damage though 
uh, and that's about it. And this guy's not viable. <laughs> so it, your teams are going to be pretty much the same across the board. Last but not least, this is what I wanted to talk about um, as well. So let's say you're running your Super Saiyan 3 team, and you don't have a lot... Well, I mean, you're probably going to have all the units if you, if you have them. But uh, anyway, another viable option for support. I, now, I don't know the math on this, but there is a possibility, a possibility that having these two guys on rotation with this team specifically you'll be doing a lot of damage now why are you why do i say that you ask right so let's talk about it so instead of having the super saiyan 3 agility goku right to link over here yes he will lose one linking buddy you can keep the go tanks the fizz go tanks with the tech adult go tanks right this guy his passive let's go bring it up actually is going to be key plus two and attack i believe plus 20 percent 25 percent for technique and physical types. So that additional 25% attack may do additional or a lot more damage than running a team like this, you know, because on the outskirts, you're really not gonna have anyone over here. You know, it's it's it, you're, you're gonna have, essentially have Vegeta and you're just gonna have to trade out this Goku. Now, I don't know how much damage this Goku is gonna do. Um, I'm basing it off of Frieza. He's probably gonna do a decent amount of damage, but we also don't know how the Super Saiyan Intelligence Bardock is gonna be. That 25% additional output between these guys might out damage having him over here, having uh, this agility Goku over here. Now, you have both of these guys who are going to be on rotation, they won't affect each other, so you're going to have technique, technique, physical, and then the only thing that stinks is the intelligence Bardock will not get the buff from this physical unit. But everyone else will, that might come into play, and it might be a viable team for us. Uh, again, we don't know what it's going to be, the intelligence one will not get these buffs from this Goku, which is going to kind of stink, but that's once every third round, the damage output might, might not be there, but I did want to bring up this team as a viability. Anyway, guys, um, this is probably going to be the team that everyone's going to want to run. I don't have this one on the global side, but, and well, obviously no one has this on the global side or this, but uh, anyway, uh, if I'm kind of want the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, I might go for him if he's on the Gogeta banner. We'll see what happens. We'll see how that plays out when that, when that gets released, but this is probably going to be the best team you're going to want to run with the option of opting in the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, depending on the link skill set. But this is what I'm going to recommend at this point in time until we further know what's going on. I think these teams are going to be awesome. There's going to be a lot of damage output. Yes, it's going to be specific to the Super Saiyan 3s, which doesn't give us a lot of room for new maneuverability. But you can still build a really nice team and a really nice rainbow team uh, on top of that, you know. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.